Welcome to Excel magic trick number 1,374. Hey, if you want to download this Excel workbook, Excel magic trick 1,374, so you can follow along, click on the link below the video. Hey, two videos ago, we did Excel magic trick 1372, extract only total row. And we had six examples in that video. And in the comments area, Excel master, Excel artist Bill Sizzes submitted a comment with yet another amazing way to solve this problem. Now, here's the goal. For each one of these cells, we need to look at the name, go over, and find the total for that particular person. Now, the beauty of Bill Sizzes' formula here is that we don't have to do anything to the data set, like fill the names down or add an extra helper column. We're simply going to use VLOOKUP. Now, watch this. This is how amazing this is. We're going to have a lookup value of the word total. Now, wait a second. If I told VLOOKUP, total comma, and then the table was this column right here. Wait a second, there's duplicates. So if I said VLOOKUP find total and did exact match, it would always find just the first one. But what if we did this? For Bill, that would be a find table, because then VLOOKUP would run into the first total and get this. What if instead of having a static range here. What if it was dynamic as we copied the formula down? What if when we got down to BOR, the actual range was this? Then when VLOOKUP tried to find total, it would run into the first one using exact match, and then go over to the second column and get the correct total. So that's what we're going to try to do in the table array. We're going to create a dynamic range. Now I'm going to click Escape. And before I even enter the VLOOKUP, let's just create the dynamic range. Now we're going to start with the index function. An index function can either look up actual values, text, numbers, things like that, or it can look up a cell reference. So what we're going to have index do is look up the first cell in the table. So if it's Bill, it needs that cell right there, B9. If it's Bohr, it needs cell B15. So for the array, those are all the items we potentially want to look up and get. In our case, cell references. I'm going to highlight that column. F4 to lock it, comma. Now we need to know the row number or relative position. That's where the name comes in. So for BOR down here, notice we need cell B15. Well, BOR, if we looked it up using match, would tell us the correct relative position in the data set. So for row number, we're going to use the match function. The lookup value will be the name as a relative cell reference, comma, the lookup array. That's this range right here. Lock it with the F4 key, comma, and we're using zero exact match here because this column is not sorted. Close parentheses. Now, that's going to give us relative position. If I were to close parentheses and enter this formula, it will not give us a cell reference. It'll only look up, if I copy this down, whatever the thing is in the cell. Now I'm going to click in the cell F2. It's not until we put index function into the context of a range of values. Now, what is context of a range of values? That's it, a colon. Notice cell reference, cell reference with a colon in between. So when I come to the end of this formula, colon, as soon as I do that index, it's thinking, no, no, I'm not going to return the value. I'm going to return a cell reference. Well, look at this. Where's the bottom of the table for every single dynamic table? It's always the last cell in the amount total column. I need to lock it with the F4 key. Now, let's enter this, and it will give us a value error because it's got a whole table, and you can't display multiple items in a single cell. But let's copy it down. Come to the first cell, F2 to put it in edit mode, F9 to evaluate. 
Notice it starts at Urban 5, Rural 3, which is Urban 5, Rural 3. And I'm going to click Escape to revert back to what was in the cell before I put it in Edit Mode. F2, F9, look at that Urban 0, Rural 7. It totally forbore got Urban 0, Rural 0. So it's got the correct dynamic table. And the actual first total in this column will always be an item we can look up and then retrieve the given total amount. So I'm going to come up to the top cell F2. By the way, this index created range is a normal range that you can put into any function that understands a range. It's not like where an array formula spits out an array of items. Index is specifically programmed internally to return a range. So we're totally allowed to just put it inside of VLOOKUP. VL tab, lookup value is going to be in double quotes. And I've capitalized everything, but Excel is not case sensitive. So you can put it however you want. That's the lookup value, comma, there's the dynamic table. Now notice the table is always one, two columns wide. And we're trying to get the value from the second column. So comma, column index, I type a 2, comma. And for us, we have to use exact match so that the lookup formula will always, when it sees duplicates, get the first one. I'm going to put either false or 0. I'm putting a 0, close parentheses. And that's the amazing formula from Bill Scissors. Control Enter. Double click and send it down. That is absolutely beautiful. I'm going to go to the last cell in F2. I love hanging out on our online Excel team. Thanks to Bill Scissors for that great dynamic range created by index and then VLOOKUP with a total. All right, we'll see you next video.